Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to uh, add text to speech to your IELTS application. So this will be for a native IELTS application, so I'm working Xcode and you're going to want to specify your product name, interface which I'll be using Swift UI and language which I'll be using Swift. Um, so one reason you might want to use text to speech is if you're making a spelling bee style app, you'll want to speak out the word that you want the user to spell and then they can go ahead and spell it. You could also use it for sort of like screen reader type situations. You have this content view and alongside that will dis uh, display a preview of what's going to be showing on the screen. And then we've got this text to speech iOS tutorial app file. It's got this at main entry point, which basically says this is the entry point and it tells you what content view is going to show. So it's this content view here that it's referring to. I'll just uh, move that off screen just so that we've got more space to write our code. So if I go ahead and edit this body, that's going to change what shows in the preview alongside. I'm going to add a V stack, which basically allows me to vertically lay out my um, different UI elements in the order that I specify them. So first off, I'm going to add a text field and it's going to collect the name of the person using the app and then it's just going to, I'll add a button which can then greet the person using the app by their name. And that's just going to be what I use to display this um, text to speech functionality. I'm also going to add a state variable which is basically going to hold the value of the text field, um, what's been entered into the text field. And um, it, that's what will be referred to when we actually um, do the text to speech. So that name is a placeholder and I'm going to use that text as um, dollar name and that's going to refer to that state variable I've just specified. Sometimes the preview stops showing and you can just click resume and it'll go ahead and build and you'll get the preview that you're expecting. So that didn't work, I'm just going to click try again. It sometimes doesn't work. There you go, it's working this time. Um, and so now I'm going to go ahead and add my button that I want to show. I want to show that below the text field. I'm going to give that text of greet because I want that to greet the person. And I'm going to add some curly braces, which is going to be the action that will be taken when the button is pressed. That's going to be actually doing the text to speech part of things. So I'm going to import AV Foundation as that's the module we'll be using to um, convert text to speech. So first you want to define your utterance and that's basically what you want to say and you'll use the AV speech utterance for that and specify the text you want to speak out. So I'm just going to say hello name. Just rearranging that so it's got a bit more space for us on screen. Once I've done that, I can set a few properties of the utterance. So I'm wanting to set the accent, so the voice. I'm going to set that to English Australian. So I'm going to use this AC, AV speech synthesis voice and specify the language as English Australian. There are a few other things you can specify and you can actually just check out the documentation for that. But I'm also going to set the rate to slow down the rate of speech. I'm just setting that at 0 0.3 so it speaks nice and slowly. Then you're going to need a synthesizer and that's going to be what actually does the speaking for you. So you can initialize that and then you can call synthesizer.speak and pass in your utterance. And that's basically all you need to do once you've got that going. You can go ahead and run your application take a little while to build but once it builds it's going to pop up the simulator and you can press on the buttons. So now our simulator is loading and once it loads fully you'll be able to see my text field and my button. Okay there they are. I'm going to enter a name and today I'm just going to choose Polly and if I click on greet it will say hello Polly. You can't hear it because it's a simulator and so it's not actually recording that sound when I'm doing my screen recording. 
I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. All my code will be available on GitHub. And if you've liked this content, content, please like and subscribe for more.